Channel 2 in Chicago, this is your Action News with anchors Lloyd Buckman and Lindsey Kane. Good evening. Tonight's top story, murder on the north side. An Andersonville man was brutally murdered at an ATM. Roy Hawk, a retiree, was beaten to death by two men wielding crowbars. What a tragic day for one Chicago family. Lindsay? Mm. A man posing as a gas company employee gained entrance to an apartment in the Robert Taylor Projects where he stabbed, shot, burned, and murdered LeVar and Vonda Burke, a young couple just sitting down to dinner. Another horrible murder. Lloyd? Thank you, Lindsay. Triple murder in the loop. An intoxicated off-duty police officer murdered three college kids and injured a dozen more when he opened fire on them during a peace rally. He then entered his police cruiser and repeatedly backed over the victims until he ran out of gas. Lizzie? On a lighter note, the circus is in town, and thousands turned out for the opening night. The event was marred by the apparent murder-suicide of the strong man and his high-wire girlfriend. Let's check the weather now. Filling in for Fritz Peters is Sonny Harris. <laughs> Thank you, Lindsay. Our thoughts go out to the Fritz Peters family. Fritz was killed by his fiancée as he was trying to murder her. It's going to be 72 and cloudy tomorrow. <laughs> Back to you, Lindsay. Guess what? More murders. An entire town was murdered today when they all gathered in the town hall to discuss a way to stop a man who had been murdering them. The man lit the town hall on fire. Lloyd? Thank you, Lindsay. There is other news tonight, folks, and we will get to it as soon as we get through these murders. To expedite the broadcast, Lindsay, I suggest we just edit these stories down to person, place, and murder weapon. All right, I'll get things started. <clears throat> Two men, pool hall, pool stick. Lindsay? Thanks, Lloyd. One nun, public library, grenade. Thank you, Lindsay. Three sailors, Knott's Berry Farm, boomerang. Lindsay? Thanks, Lloyd. Football team, brothel, wrecking ball. Lloyd? Uh, I don't know about you, Lindsay, but I'm looking at about 400 murders here, so maybe for time's sake we should just list the weapons involved. Good idea. All right. Piano wire. Chainsaw. World's best mom trophy. Dab of Vaseline. Malibu Barbie doll. Cocktail umbrella. Muffler. 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 Hmm. Hmm. We have a serial killer on our hands. What the hell was that? Cameraman newsroom gun. We have breaking news. Beloved newsman, local Emmy winner, and former swimsuit model Lloyd Buckman was shot in the neck today by a crazed gunman. <laughs> in the muffler murder case today. Police are looking for this man. See him? He, he just ran by. Oh. 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 Uh, and now more on the crazed gunman. Channel 2 has learned that co-anchors Lloyd Buckman and Lindsey Kane have both been shot. Pulling a small caliber handgun from her pantyhose, Miss Kane returned fire, accidentally killing her executive producer, uh, a makeup girl, Summon in a green sweater. Lloyd Buckman. The muffler murder before finally killing the crazed gunman. Oh, we'll take a short break, and when we come back, Buddy Richards will have all the highlights from yesterday's sports murders. <laughs>